Number one, flying fur. A really nice couple walks in wanting to sell some fur coats to donate back to their city, and they have a charity in mind, but they won't share the name. But we're a pawn shop. Right, so, and so what I need so you to do. So what you can do is you can leave it here You're and then I can go me now. and yeah, there You are very shape? rude. Who's the one getting loud here? So yeah, this is worth about twelve to fifteen thousand. I can't do that for you. We're not. We're we're not a place that. You know what, bitch? You don't get one. in my face. No. Number two. Number three. Number, you don't, don't raise a face. finger. No. And number four. No, I'm glad call. that you it's know how to shop, please. Bitch. Really? Really? Have a good day. Let's go. Did you just throw it in my face. What you gonna do? Oh, hell nah, this man has the nerves to really throw that in Ashley's face, yeah? Well, one thing's for sure. She is not having it, and she will teach them one hell of a lesson. Yeah. You should go calm down. Did you just throw yeah. this in my you face? Turn him very Hold on. Good. Are you serious right now? Hold on. Have a good day, Ashley. Get the f out of my store. Hello? They should have gotten somewhere else for their tax write off, because I actually know the coat is worthless. Keep the coat. That's why they left it here. Hope they get to a good charity. Bitch? No, she seriously keeps on calling her bitch? Well, she's the bitch for sure. And yep, Ashley, you just know they are as worthless as these coats. Number two, royal treatment. This English woman walks in thinking she's the queen of England for sure. Well, please let her know this will not happen ever. That one fits you really nice, that's a fox. Fair enough. Yeah. But the price does not suit how much for the coat. Do you not understand? Do you not understand? There's a joke. Would you like to smell? No, I typically don't it's go gonna around It's gonna cost me a lot coats. of money to get this coat clean. My exchange rate is absolutely incredibly high. How much for the coat? I can go 350 for you today if that will help you out. Shove it. Shove it? Shove it? Well, she is going to get shoved into the parking lot for sure. I sadly think her brain has some kind of dysfunction because of her age, for sure. Nice one, Byron. Want to show her the door? We're not looking at this big guy, we're looking at you. You're going to make me? He will. I don't think so. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Pleasure. Have a good day. Yeah. I'm not interested in your $200. Goodbye, lady! Goodbye, lady! There you go. That's the royal treatment. Tell the queen we say hello. She should really say hi to the queen, but if she actually could do that, she wouldn't go around the world acting like one. And that's on craving authority. Number three, loudmouth. Some dumbass guy walks in the store and he's on his phone just wanting Karen to get him a price. But is that really ethical? I don't think so. Look, all I need you to do take is it tell out. me how much I can get for this. Take it out of the bag and let me Where take you a at, look man? at it. No, I ain't even trying to do that, man. Hold on, give me a second, man. This girl, that's a Maltese for a coat. I, I, just, I just need a price, baby. That's all I need. That's hang all I need. up your phone. No, I'm not gonna hang up. This is an important conversation. Do you I'm know how rude that is? It really is about to go down, everyone. And how the hell is he claiming that this is an important conversation while all I'm hearing is some random words with no meaning? Ah, uh, Byron, if you'd like, but I'm Ooh, telling you, Byron. Byron. Ooh, this is Byron. Ooh, they got Byron up in here, everybody. You, you got a problem, girl. Back. You got a problem. You better check that mentality. Rude Honey, as hell. Rude. rude You're as the hell. one that came up rude to me on the telephone. You ain't gotta touch me, man. Too bad he still had his phone conversation. On you. Yep, just like Karen said, get your phone call and your fur coat outside. But she forgot to tell you to get your ass out before Byron shows you what ass pain means asshole. Number four, weird flirting. This woman is just too humble walking in and wanting to sell these fur coats for a price that is not even near a logical one. Give me $250. I can't. Okay, give me $80. I can't. So you can. How's that go? Honestly, I did not understand shit, she said. Is it gum? Is it her? Or was I just too focused on her mouth moving while chewing that gum? No clue. We're gonna climb up on you, huh? Yep. I say, I say. Mm. Ooh, wait, don't be scared now. Uh, Come on, red ride. What's your baby? Who's <laughs> that day? Woo-wee! Come on, keep your eyes on the fire. Woo-wee! Yeah, baby. Took it, took it. Took it. You bad, daddy. Okay, anybody else need help today? Now I'm laughing my ass of because of this flirting. Um, Klimber boy, that's a new one in my dictionary. Inspirational words wanting some passionate climbing, for sure. Number five, foxy lady. This lady walks in to sell this fur coat she's wearing and aims for some unrealistic price, but she found out she was going to burn this place down. It's very pretty. Thank you. The problem is that we don't go that kind of money on those because we can't sell them for that kind of money. So how much would you give me? I can give you a hundred. This a good ass mink coat. This is a rabbit, a bird, whatever the I want it to be. You gonna give her more than a hundred dollars on that? I'm gonna give her more than a dollar. What the a dollar? Uh, hell, who the is he? He's my fur expert. 
Goop looks like she lost her tongue seeing a fur expert saying hers is nothing but shitty. But am I the only one annoyed with her voice? Like, dude, my ears. When you demand of us to give you money that is unrealistic, like $1,000 for a $100 coat, we're not gonna do it. I need rent money. Oh! Y'all motherfuckers don't know who y'all with up in here. This motherfucker mean coat. It's Fox. It's a mink, baby. That's one hell of a twist. Isn't now you freaking orangey gas tank? The expert in fur is also an expert in kicking your ass out, stupid ass. Number six, chinchilla scandal. This woman in a size of two came into the store claiming that she was ripped off by Ashley. Apparently, she asked for some chinchilla scarf, but she got a rabbit. I know I spent the grip. What's a grip? What's a grip? Grip is a lot of cash, a lot of money. How do you know it's rabbit? Because my girl told me it was rabbit. Do you have your receipt? I don't have a receipt. It's in your ass. The receipt's in my ass? It's in your ass. It's in Ashley's ass now? I bet you Ashley is about to put that scarf up in your ass so she could make you feel some heady shit your girl can't show you. Whatever, man. You Around your neck. That's some old ass I'm not wearing that old ass That was a good shot right there. You play basketball? Try to be nice to you. Now you're gonna leave it? You wear that! Yeah, she really did spend a grip on that scarf for sure. She freaking left it there. It's really worthless. But being a basketball player, no team would accept a ball as a player. Number seven, two tons. Two ladies walk in the store wanting anything sexy, like a fur coat, or Leslie, or even themselves. Of course, that's all according to them, not me. I want a mink. Okay. Something sexy. Something like, mmm. Tell me what that means. Um, something that's gonna fit all this. Let's see. That don't nah, fit. That's a receiving blanket. That's a receiving blanket. But it's gotta fit you. What you trying you to say about big sex? What saying? Well, I'm saying that this ain't big to enough say to she go. Too big for a coat in here? No. Can we get a woman to wait on us? A woman that know about some breasts? Tony's my fur guy, and if. Anybody can help this woman, it's him. Tony looks like he's about to whoop their asses for sure. He already is done with their bullshit. So all I gotta say is good luck, ladies. A coat. You are too sexy for my coat. I don't have anything that sexy. End of story. Goodbye, ladies. Come on, big sex. There goes two tons of fun there. We are this big. Yep, I was right. Tony just took the biggest and oldest coat he found and just threw it on this woman. But if they want to talk about big sexy, that's Byron, not you, honey. Number eight, rare tantrum. This woman walks in wanting to sell this one-of-a-kind fur coat that does not look special in any way except that it's damaged. They did this all by hand. This is fox fur here. Look, this may be real, but it's also really damaged. I'm looking to get 500. 500? Okay, uh, 25 bucks. $25 for this thing? Oh, hey, hell Byron, no. Oh, hell no. Can you take I need somebody hair, else to come over here please. and tell me what the hell. That's Girl, it. Sorry. You don't know what the f you're talking about well, here. No, actually, I do. Oh, and I'm no, telling you, you the coat's only worth 30 bucks. Get the f out of here. So, yeah. Yeah. You're going to need that coat. Thank you two kiss my ass. You have a nice day. She was as shocked as my mom when she found out she was pregnant with me. I bet she'll have the same anger issues too. Your ass, girl was definitely spanking what's between her legs and not her ass, but oh well, both are stinky as hell. Number nine, human hair. Now this one is very confident thinking it's possible to sell some hair in the fur department, but to be fair, that wasn't the real issue at all. I was wondering if you could buy it for me. It's Chinese women hair. It's who? Chinese women. Chinese boy man? Bohemian. Oh, bohemian. And I paid $1,000 for it. The kind of have Beyonce wear. Are the same as Beyonce? Yes, yes it is. Brush for you too, I could brush it too, and you could call me. I'm sorry, the health department won't let us sell used hair. With that look, she was definitely offended. I mean, Leslie called her stinky and unhygienic in so many ways, and he will not be having it anymore. It's good for drag queens and, and ladies and all that stuff. Come on, now you gotta give me something. You're not a drag queen, are you? No, I'm, a, I'm all woman, baby. It's all woman. I, 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 all woman. All woman. Y'all wipe down everything. We do, but I just can't take it. Okay, you can right? wipe down the hair. Come, come on, back when I you have. Come back. I'm trying to do this right now. Watch this way, and then you can park it. Park it. You can twerk it all the way up. 
How dare Leslie think she's a drag queen? My man, she is all woman, and she proves it with all that twerking as if it proves her point. Thank God she went to the salon parking lot. Number 10. Couple lesson. A very cute old couple wanted to sell a fur coat, but who gets to talk about money in business? Definitely the man. Check this out. Sleep in separate bedrooms? Yes. yes. That's why this has worked for so long. They do get my way. I got the big bedroom. He's oh. got the little one. Oh. Oh. I'm here I to came sell. Here. Sell. Sell. No. Hers, no. of course, not yours. No, nope. this is hers. She can't wear it anymore. Either why? the coat shrunk or she put on weight, and I'm going with the coat shrunk. Smart man. That's smart. <laughs> Listen up, everyone. Bobby J just found his inspiration and he is really about to follow whatever this guy is doing with his wife. No more date nights. So in all actuality, it's gonna be under $100. Oh, get out of here. You gotta be kidding me. You can go about 60 bucks. 75. I can't do that today. Don't look at me. You're talking with her. Uh, 70. I'll be more than happy to buy $70. It for $70. There you go, Gary. Right, thank, thank God. You. I'm gonna have you follow Bobby J. We'll go up front. Now that was the weirdest yet nicest interaction Ashley has ever had in the history of Hardcore Pawn. Goddamn, she was nice. Number 11, Beauty School. Oh, Seth is in this one. I thought I wouldn't see him today. But what's funny is that he got the weirdest customer to ever exist. Almost done. Just need a little extra cash to pay it off. Did you go to class like this? Yeah. What are you saying? Well, I, I, I like to do hair, ass bleaching, just a little pink. I'm uncomfortable dealing with this guy. He's wearing a shower cap and he paints his nipples. You want to touch it? That, that, okay. The makeup, we get it. The shower cap, we get it. The ass bleaching, we get it. But what is the point of painting your own nipples? 800. Yeah, no, 800 is definitely not gonna happen. It is a nice coat, but it's gonna be about 100 bucks. About 100 bucks? Yeah. I can't do it. Well, thanks for coming in and ruining my day. No, just have a good day, bud. All right, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Mother's gotta be proud. Oh, yeah. Kai looks like his mom. <laughs> Did Seth just tell him that he ruined his day? Oop, he got you right there, little one. He really does remind me a lot of his mom. Seth is a genius in this joke. 